For the first time in the contemporary history of the global apparel industry, major brands and retailers have signed a binding, enforceable agreement under which they must pay to carry out building renovations, repairs, and retrofitting necessary to turn these death trap factories into safe structures. H&M, the biggest producer in Bangladesh, has signed. Carrefour, the second largest global retailer after Walmart, has signed. Inditex, the biggest fashion retailer, has signed. But Walmart and Gap refuse to make these binding commitments to clean up their factories in Bangladesh and make them safe. What are the commitments, and who wrote this contract? The Agreement was developed by non-governmental organizations and both global and Bangladeshi labor unions. Under the agreement, the brands and retailers must open their factories up to independent inspections by competent safety experts with full public reports of all inspections, and then they must compel the factories to carry out any and all building repairs and renovations necessary to address safety hazards and make the buildings safe, installing fire exits, which most of these buildings don't have, to offer a critical example. They must then leave, cease doing business with any factory that refuses to undertake these repairs and renovations, except the critical point, the brands and retailers have to pay for the repairs and renovations. They can't place the burden purely on the factory. And if the factories will take the money and undertake the renovations and operate safely, then the brands and retailers have to stay and continue to produce at those factories and support the factory and support the workers. Well, one of Walmart's most astonishing excuses, their claim is that the inspections they themselves do with no transparency or accountability will be a faster mechanism for protecting worker safety in Bangladesh. This from a company that has been producing in Bangladesh for nearly a quarter of a century and during that time has done nothing to protect the safety of workers. GAP's main argument is some abstruse claim about supposed legal liability that they face. Uh, it's a trumped-up claim. GAP's real concern is that they don't want to pay the costs of repairing these buildings uh, and making them safe. But even if there is li legal liability, the question for GAP is, are they saying that workers in Bangladesh should continue to die so GAP can be protected from litigation? That appears to be their position.